Hey folks, I'm attorney Roger P. Foley and I'm going to talk to you about, oh shit, I accidentally brought my firearm to the airport and I tried to bring it through as a carry-on and beep, 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 beep. What happened? Firearm, gun, and everyone's in a panic. It's true. Whether you're in Miami, Broward, Palm Beach, Orlando, Tampa, there are thousands of cases every year where people accidentally bring their firearm in their carry-on luggage. They may be traveling. Guess what, folks? You can travel with a firearm. You can't carry it on the plane. You can check it in a approved container. Your firearm and your ammunition must be separated. Firearm can't be loaded. It's gotta be in a special case. And you have to notify the commercial carrier um, that you're bringing it. And you also need to check with the jurisdiction that you're flying to. Let's say you're flying from Florida to New York. You need to know what the, the, the jurisdiction where you're landing, whether they have reciprocity. If you have a um, concealed weapons permit. Remember in Florida now in 2024, you don't have to have a concealed weapons permit. But if you do, even if you don't, you need to find out what the law is in the state that you're arriving in. Anyway, you've been charged. You're gonna get charged if you, if you bring it in. Sometimes they'll give you an NTA, which is a notice to appear. It's a piece of paper, but you've been arrested. It's a misdemeanor. It's a second degree misdemeanor. Sometimes they'll charge you with a third degree felony, facing five years. More often than not, it's a misdemeanor. And more often than not, you have a legitimate shot of making the case go away. Sometimes that's by fighting the case. Sometimes that's through diversion. Most of the time in my in my practice, I've been able to get it eliminated through diversion. And Dade, Broward, Palm Beach. Um, but in Orlando, I couldn't do it. I had a client that got charged in Orlando, accidentally left the firearm in their, in their uh, backpack and they got six months probation. I, I couldn't get anything better. The prosecutor said, hey, listen, our state attorney is very, very tough on gun crimes. And uh, I can't do anything. I can't give you a withholding car cost. I can't give you um, a diversion. It's just not possible. Um, other jurisdictions, I've, I've had it dismissed. Some fighting it, some with diversion. Now, the other part of that is in addition to having to hire a criminal defense attorney and fight this charge, you have to deal with TSA. TSA has uh, the ability to fine you civilly. Guess what the fine is, folks? Five grand, five grand. You know what you can buy with five grand? Yes, but they will negotiate. Most of the time, you don't need an attorney for that. You can do that on your own. And they will most of the time offer you about half price. Um, doesn't get much better than that. I was successful recently in a case and I got it down to about 1300. Um, but that's about as good as it's gonna get. They're gonna get their money. Um, Cha-ching, they're gonna get it. So before you go to the airport, check. You should always know, folks, you should always know. But listen, life is hectic. We all run the rat race, right? Some people have kids, some people have crazy jobs, some people are running from you know, task to task. And quite frankly, like you forget things, you forget your keys, your, your, your phone, you forget whether or not that you lock the door, if you let the gas, you know, stove on. When it comes to firearms, you really gotta pay attention because the penalties can be tough. I'm attorney Roger P. Foley. If you didn't know, now you know. See ya, bye now.